starts right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Studio 4. We are so excited because today is Friday. Oh On my your goodness. calendar, is October 19th. Doesn't it feel like a Friday today? I felt like it was Friday yesterday. Yes. I was really, I was really disappointed that we still had another day. I know. Of work, but oh we're here. my goodness! And my we've got goodness. a good show for you. Yeah, we have yeah. lots of good things, so you'll want to stick around for that. Okay, first thing to talk about today: think about okay. Disney princess movies. You mm -hmm. are experienced in that oh, genre. Oh, I know them all. I know okay. them all. Traditionally, the princess mm -hmm. saved by the prince. Yes. Sort of a damsel in distress situation. Always. Okay. Well, some parents. For the old ones, anyway. Yeah. Parents have had enough. I tell you what, mm -hmm. they've just had enough. According to the New York Post, some moms say the basic plot of these movies can send the wrong message. Kristen Bell, who plays a princess in Frozen, stated, quote, don't you think that it's weird that the prince kisses Snow White without her permission? Because you cannot kiss someone if they're sleeping. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some other parents who say nothing's wrong with the traditional princesses like The Little Mermaid or Cinderella. Recently, Disney has evolved with their princess characters with movies like Frozen and Moana. Who show that they are in charge of their own destinies? Do you feel like you need to have a conversation with your oh, girls? We already have. Oh yeah. I do that. I do that pretty regularly. And but I don't do it in a way of this is bad. I point out. Do you notice how strong Moana was, and that she, um, even though everybody was going in this way, she went out on her own and she sought her own own win. And do you then think when I talk of about. It? I don't think so. I hope you plant that seed at, a, at an early age. For example, another one that. Um, I love is Bell. Uh -huh. That Bell was the smart one, and uh -huh. she went through the thing, and she didn't look at the outward appearance. She looked inside the mm -hmm. heart, uh, even though she's kind of dating this weird beast thing, which is kind of mm, that's weird and crazy. So, uh, but we point out that especially, and I love that's one of the things I loved about Frozen is, you know, there wasn't some hero that came in and right. saved the day. It was a sister's love, and so it, having two girls, um, I obviously love that storyline. Um, but I, I think, again, don't let Disney raise your kids. Use that as, as entertainment, but you Preach, raise your kids. Preach, my friend. Preach, like, right? I go into a show, and I, I want to be entertained, but I, it's, I'm not letting the movie dictate what happens. As a parent, I'm having those conversations and saying, you're strong enough. Mm -hmm. You don't need anybody else. You got this. Um, so, yeah, that's it. You parent, you let Disney be entertainment, you handle the parenting. I agree, I agree. So, so in, a, in a side note, yes. last night, you know, so Clint, Brakeville, and I do brackets. You know, we make those yes. weird brackets of, mm -hmm. like, random things. Right. So we were thinking this year. Okay. The March Madness bracket. Right. Is Disney movies, Disney and Pixar Ooh, movies. That would be good. Who gets the four, the four number one seats? It's too tough. You're gonna have to think about it. Yeah, yeah I can't just throw that off no, the cuff. No, it's hard. But yeah, that's a good one, don't you think? And and they have to be Disney animated movies. They have to be Disney or <laughs> Pixar. Pixar animated. <laughs> it has to be animated. Okay. This is funny. I mean, Clint and I go into detail. It's tough because I I love Toy Story. Oh that's man, that's good. That I love, counts. I love, so that's your one seat. That's a one seat. It's good. Um, I'd say that's it there. Um, <laughs> You can think. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. All right. A recent study published in the journal Human Nature found that people are more. Li this is a weird. This is weird. Mm -hmm. So weird. People are more likely to donate to a charity when a picture of human eyes is nearby. Yeah. What? That's, that's, that's that. Turns out that when someone feels they are being watched, they will act more generous. Researchers conducted an experiment that watched more than 30,000 adults. When a picture of eyes was on the donation box, people dropped more money in. There are different motivations when making a charitable donation. It can be about helping others or for selfish reasons. It goes back to don't let the right hand know what the left hand is doing. Just, just give. Uh -huh. Just, just do it. So. But is that, are we talking just like a, a pair of eyes or like a person? That's it. Somebody watching. Uh, it's, it's, you're, you're more. I'm very confused about this. With your, um, if you feel like somebody's watching, oh. you are going to be more generous. Oh, well, Or okay. you're going well, to help sense. more. Sense, right? Does that make, yeah. Yeah, so. that makes sense. Okay. All right. Um, did you hear that Michael Buble is retiring? He better not. He's I not. Love it's me a some joke. Buble. It's a joke. He says to that story, quote, consider the source. The singer says that he is not retiring from music and that he was misquoted in an interview. The report suggested that Buble was stepping away from music after the release of his upcoming album next month. Buble said, quote, I'll keep going until the news of my death comes out, which probably will be fake too. Now lot. that honestly, fake news gets thrown out so much and I hate that term, but that would be 
definitely fake Is news he coming season. out with a new Christmas album? Possibly. I All mean, whatever Michael crossed. Bublé comes out with, it's so great. I don't know why every time it's just, as a matter of fact, on my Facebook today, I mentioned Michael Bublé in one of my posts. What, what was your mention? Well, because I, I listen to a lot of XM radio, a lot of sports talk radio. Uh -huh. um, and the commercial today was, um, and, it, and it's often, I see this on uh, sports pages and on, it's take your, um, um, take your manliness to the max. You know, it, it's these like um, testosterone right. boosters and it promises all this stuff. And, and I made the joke, like I feel like they're targeting me specifically because somewhere along the way, somebody told these advertisers, hey, you need, this guy over here needs some help. He cries at Disney movies, he wears pink, and he likes Michael Bublé. Uh -huh. Like, this guy definitely needs, he needs manly man. max. He needs his yeah. man card. Yeah, so, and then I said in reference to that, I wonder if really manly men see, I mean, there, there should be advertisements to them saying, you're manly enough, why don't you back it off a little bit? <laughs> like, because we know all that. those guys, like, the guys that are in the 50s and they're taking this hormone booster and uh -huh. all of a sudden they're really excited and pumped, and you're like, ooh, you might What are they like? They're, 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 you might need to back it down a little bit, you know? Uh, you know, the 50-something, 60-something running around the gym, oh, like, yeah, a, like a crazy there. person. Okay. Yeah, that's true. drinking the shake. <laughs> the shake. <laughs> hey, uh, big news. Britney Spears announces that she's back in action Are in you Las excited? Vegas. I'm not. What? Of course we knew she was going to do it again. One of the, one, her song is Oops. I did it again. You knew she was coming back, right? Well, are you excited she's coming back, though? I didn't see her the first time. Oh. The 36-year-old singer made it official with the announcement on Thursday. Tickets for her domination show go on sale next week. Spears' first residency in Sin City ended in 2017, earning $140 million over four years. Aerosmith, Lady Gaga will both launch shows in Las Vegas soon as well. So excited about all of that. I Although, know. I've seen Aerosmith in Vegas. I think one time for me, an Aerosmith is enough. But I do want to see, I was sad that Britney Spears left and I didn't really? get to see her. I so now you'll get to fun. see her. Good, good I for mean, you. I don't know. I don't, but then you, you go to those shows, they're so expensive, you know? Like, How much does a show cost in Vegas? I don't know, like when I saw Selena, I mean, it was like $200, you know? But it was incredible. It was, okay. And then Cher was similar. Okay. You know? I don't oh. know. I might do it. What about Lady Gaga? Would you go see a yes. Lady Gaga show? Yes. I would be all over that. In like, like that's 3. the one show. Seconds. Like, like Britney Spears doesn't do it for me. Like uh, uh, Lady Gaga with a so, piano. We talked about this in right. your office today. Yeah. Just put her in a piano and spotlight and let her do her thing. Yeah, I'll for sure, that. for sure. Okay, did you hear about Kimye? Oh, thank goodness this is not true. Uh huh. They okay. So Kimye is still together. L <laughs> L magazine pulled an April Fool's Day prank in late October, tweeting that a fake headline that Kanye West and Kim Kardashian had broken up. People who clicked on the link provided the, the, the link provided on the thing were sent to a voter registration page. Is it said. Yee or Ye? I don't know. Kim Ye. But is Yeezy is it is is it would it be Ye Kim no, Ye? No, Kanye. Kanye. I don't know. What? Oh, well, because on Adidas they're 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 Yeezys. Yeah, they're Yeezys, but it's Kanye, so it's Kim Ye. Okay, I just, I don't know if it was oh the Oh my the gosh, end. I'm glad we took care of that. Yep. Okay, many of the responses Elle got were negative, including one from journalist Yashar Ali, who boats, who blasted Elle, excuse me, for spreading fake news. One Twitter use, user called it trash nonsense. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Other comments included, well played and you got me. Yeah, why are you playing those kind of jokes in October? It's funny if it's like on April 1st. No, because it, they're trying to get people to register to vote. I know. Oh. But still. Not funny. <laughs> Not funny. Adam Sandler has a new Netflix program. Speaking of funny, that's coming out. The stand-up comedy special is called 100% Fresh. Although the Saturday Night Live alum has released a number of albums over the years, this is his first comedy special since 1996. Sandler and Netflix have had an ongoing collaboration, including a four-film distribution deal. The special is scheduled to air on October 23rd. That was a big part of my college life. Adam was Sandler, Adam Happy Sandler. Gilmore, or Billy all, Madison? Just all Adam Sandler. That was when he was on Saturday Night Live, and then that's that's when it just kind of spawned the Adam Sandler thing. But Adam Sandler on SNL when I was in college. Yeah. Very good. Happy mm -hmm. Gilmore was the first PG-13 movie I ever saw. Ooh. Oh, wow, I saw it at the Varsity that's Theater. That's PG-13? I'm trying to think why. Oh, language. got it, I got it, I got it. Language and there's a couple of things, I got it. Coming up on the show today, as the seasons change, our hair care routines can